Have you ever really stopped to think about where your emotions come from? Where that insecurity stems from? Why you act a particular way in certain circumstances? Why you stop yourself from achieving greatness at the very last second? Have you ever considered that your self-sabotage, your emotional response may not actually be your own, but may have been inherited from somebody else? Today on the Hot and Healthy in Business show, we're going to chat about how you can burn bright, not out in business by identifying these emotional projections and self-sabotage, and ultimately how you can heal them. Our guest, Amanda Mackay, is a second generation energy healer and sound healer, and is going to share her story of how she beat this self-sabotaging emotional response cycle through sound vibrations. So, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, Amanda. Thank you. It's so good to have you here. I'm really excited to be here. It is a bit cold and weird. It's wrapped up in a little blanket. I do love the blanket, though, so I'm happy with that. It's having a little extra something to the show today. <laughs> so, Amanda, you and I have been talking quite a bit about your journey, and one of the things you identified was um, that you'd inherited some emotions from your mum. Yes, I so did. So, how did you identify that? Okay, so I'm a sound healer, so not only do I do sound healing for other people, I receive healing all the time. It never stops. Mm -hmm. So the more I heal, the more I can help other people. Mm -hmm. So through my own healing, uh, I have I found all these emotions that were stuck. Mm -hmm. So they actually stopped me from doing things that I wanted to achieve. Like being on the hot and healthy show, mm -hmm. no, yes, and is. being here and being seen and being out and sharing all these things with people. So these were inherited from birth. So when you're gestating, the emotions of both parents do uh, interact. They stay with you. You gestate in them, and you're born with them. Mm. So my mum had a lot of sadness from different things that had happened in her life. So that's what I was born with, just all this sadness. Mm -hmm. And I felt sad all the time from childhood. And I didn't really have, you know, an awful childhood. It was emotionally disconnected from my mum because, like I said, she had all this pain. But it wasn't that bad, mm -hmm. you know. So why did I have all this self-doubt? Why couldn't I just be me? Go out there and help people. Mm. Why couldn't I do that? Because so it was stuck. It was stuck. So when yeah. you say stuck, what do you mean? So you're okay. You're not born yet. You've got the emotions from mum and dad. Are you saying yeah. it's coming from outside into you, or it's coming through your genes? You absorbing it through the womb, through okay. the fluid. How's it getting into you? And how's it getting yeah. stuck? It's a vibration. So all emotion is vibration. So you know when you feel something like you're, you're anticipating something, you can feel the butterflies, mm. that's an emotion. Mm. So it's a vibration. So you know uh, they have had studies where babies respond to music. Mm. That's a vibration. Mm. It's, it's the same thing. Simple music, emotion, same mm. thing. It's all vibration. Mm. Our voices are vibration. So babies respond to mum's voice too, mm. don't they? Mm. So if mum is feeling anxious, unsure, sad, in pain, whatever it is, we're actually absorbing that. Those are those beautiful little developing things that we are. So if sadness, so you're saying sadness is a vibration, so mum's having an experience and it's making her sad. Yeah. Um, how does that actually get into baby? So how does an emotion represent as a vibration? What am I missing? Okay, so... We, we are vibration. Everything that we have in here is vibration. We feel. We're not our mind. Mm -hmm. We're not logic. We're feeling before anything else. So when something happens to you, you feel it first, then the mind kicks in. Our mind doesn't kick in first. It's in here, isn't it? Okay. Does that make sense? It does. It does. I'm, I'm thinking more joy. So we, we are thinking something, let's say we're looking at a puppy or a kitten and we're like, we're having a thought, then we're having a feeling, 
And then you're saying it's a, then it becomes a vibration. Yeah. So if you're looking at a puppy and you have all this love and it's expanding, what are they going to do? They're just going to run to you and just <laughs> jump on you and love you, aren't they? Because they're responding to a feeling because that's what animals do. Mm. They can feel fear. They can feel our emotions. Mm. So as human beings, we instinctively feel other people's emotions all the time, whether we're actually conscious of it or not. Mm. You know if you walk into a room, there's been an argument. Mm. You, you, get know? Into, you get into a lift. Yeah, that's right. You're feeling the vibrations of the people's yeah. thoughts and feelings around you. You know if someone's near and you think, oh, I don't know, there's something about them, I don't like them. That's vibration. You're feeling it. It's not in the mind. Then your mind starts going, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then the survival stuff kicks in and what should I do and that sort of thing. But it's always vibration first. So then what do you mean by it got stuck? Okay, well, it stays with you until you acknowledge it and rebalance it. So the work that I do, I work with uh, a bio, the biofield, which is the energy around your body. You know if somebody is too close to you and you don't like them, you, you want to move away, don't you? So you're feeling their energy, their vibration, their aura, their biofield, whatever you want to call it. So all of our emotions sit in this energy around our body. This is our memory. This is our subconscious mind. This is where it all sits. So we're bigger than the physical form. Oh, we're yeah. actually out here. Five, six feet. Much bigger. <laughs> six foot wide. <laughs> so I'm energetically, energetically, <laughs> you're in my energy field. Yeah, we're having a hug. <laughs> so when it gets stuck, yeah. So it, if you and I are here having a conversation, so I understand the one when you're in the womb and mm. you don't really have the ability to clean it out, you just absorb it and it becomes yeah. part of you and, and, and how you're made up. Yes. But you and I are sitting here next to each other. How do I ensure that your stuff doesn't get stuck in my energy field? Okay, so for you to have an energy, a vibration stay in your biofield, you have to have had an interaction with it. So you're not going to inherit anything from me today because you're not having an emotional reaction to me. So say if you had, were in the car and somebody beeps you and yells at you and then you react, you know you do, you feel it in here. But what you're reacting to is probably earlier in your lifetime somewhere else, somebody going in at you with yelling, blaming, judging, something like that, whether it was a parent, a teacher, an old boss, something like that that's really rattled you and it stayed with you. So and you've not quite stuck. worked through it, yeah. That's the stuff that so it's, that's it's right. in my field here somewhere. Yeah. That anger, that fear that judging whatever it might be is stuck yeah. in here yeah I'm not and aware of it. no and we're taking those things on as us you know if your teacher said you know you're not very good at maths well then you believe it because they're a teacher they've got authority it's not true all the time i was told that um i couldn't sing i wasn't good at music never got a good grade in music i'm a sound healer and I make meditation recordings. <laughs> <laughs> so once I recognised that, it was like, hang on a minute, that was just an opinion. That wasn't actually truth. It wasn't my truth. Mm. So in this structured school thing, okay, maybe I wasn't doing what they wanted, but that doesn't mean I didn't have an inherent talent for music. Mm. You know, I was able to go home and play my dad's keyboard. How could I do that if I had no musical ability at all? We all have all of it. We've just got to believe that we actually have it. Not taking on these, they're just opinions of other people. Mm. I mean, we all know that magazines tell us we should be this, that, blah, 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 blah. Why? Why should we be that? Why can't we be our own sovereign individual? Mm, I like that. Sovereign, mm. sovereign individual. Yeah. So how do we know that we've got stuff stuck yeah. in our vibration okay well the simplest way is when you have an interaction with somebody and you have that reaction inside that emotion and then you bring the thought like who are they mm. you know why are they telling me what to do or 
gee, I mustn't be very good at that. That is when you know there's a stuck vibration. Because we are magnificent. We really are. We've just got to know it, believe it, and clear all that rubbish that people have been telling us. Mm. It's that easy. What does someone look like and act like and do in this world? If they have a clean energy field, do they still exist? I mean, I'm not sure I've seen oh, anyone yeah. who has a perfectly clear energy field. You're not going to because mm. we're here to have human experience. Mm. That's what we're here for. So there's always going to be challenges. There's always going to be things come up. And if we look at them as opportunities to heal instead of this is stopping me. Mm. Like I said with the music, it didn't stop me. I'm doing it. Mm. I'm doing it anyway. So, so how would it show up in your business and your life? So the first one you mentioned is I'm being triggered by someone. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm having an experience with someone and it's not pleasant. You could also mm. be having good experiences too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah. you want to keep absolutely. those in. Oh, like yeah. Those out. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we want to create more of those. Yeah, we want to keep building on those. And the more great experiences you have, the more you appreciate them every day. Mm. So wake up every day, yes, I'm going to have a great day. Mm. And then when you go to bed at night, appreciate all the amazing things that happened during the day. It's really, it's really simple. Mm. I mean, when I had my first baby, I had postnatal depression. It was really hard. And the only way I got through it was like every minute, every hour, and every day. And I would go to bed at night and I would think, what were the great things that we did today? Mm. We played. She ate well. You know, she was happy. And I focused on the good even though I didn't feel it. Mm. So I made that happen. I made the feeling become good. Mm. That's just... You know, that's just things that we can do on a day-to-day -day basis as well as our sound healing or whatever other therapy that you get. Mm -hmm. We bring that into our lives. We choose if we're going to see the good, if we're going to appreciate what we have. Mm -hmm. So in terms of good emotions getting stuck into our energy field, obviously you want to invite them in and you want them to stay in and you do that with the gratitude practice. Appreciation, not Appreciation. gratitude. What's the difference? Yeah. Gratitude is more like a begging kind of, oh, I'm so grateful. Appreciation is <sighs> expansive. Yeah. Mm. It's a difference. I'm appreciating all that is. Yeah. Okay. So gratitude is like someone had to give it to me. I had to work hard. Mm. Appreciation is look outside the window. It is a beautiful day. We are blessed to be here in this amazing weather. It's just those things. Mm, okay. And we build the little things, little things, and all of a sudden you have all this stuff that you appreciate. Mm. You live in a state of appreciation. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about, okay, so we know how the bad stuff gets in mm -hmm. and we begin to believe and identify that that is us so we kind of hold on to it energetically and we don't want that. No. And we need to clear that. So one of the mm. ways we clear that is through the process of sound healing. Yeah. Okay. We'll come back to how we do that. Okay. How, and we get good things that come into our energy field and get stuck. And we want more of those. And we can do that through creating this habit of appreciation. That's correct. Great. So if if we're being triggered by other people, that's negative. So if it's like, because without these blockages, we are clean, perfect and pure and in a constant state of appreciation. Is that how it would look like if it was clean? Yes, and that would be probably a miracle for most people, to be quite honest, because we have challenges that come along all the time. Like I said, it's not going to change. Mm. It doesn't matter if you're living in appreciation. There are still going to be people who are coming in to your world, into your life, into your experience, that car in front of you who honks their horn or whatever it is. We live in this world where those things are going to happen. So it's really about how we're responding to it. Mm. Okay. So the appreciation is a method that we can use to clean our own vibration as well. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, Great. absolutely. What, what, could, uh, what other things could we do to help clear our vibration? Okay. Well, the, the big thing is recognising that 
when you are reacting to somebody, it is something in you that needs to heal. So if you get a phone call from somebody or you have a conversation with them and they're saying, I really don't like how you did this, you did da 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 you can either go in and fight and create a big argument with them, which is not going to resolve much. You can listen to them. You can appreciate that they took the time to ring you because they're reaching out to you. They actually want to talk to you about mm. this. So you listen and you're like, okay, well, does that resonate with me? Is that really what I did? Was that where I was coming from? Maybe, maybe not. You can also look at it from their point of view. Okay, well, I, maybe I can see why they, they thought I was doing that or saying that, but at the same time it is their thing to heal. Mm. So it's their stuff, not your stuff, so don't invite it into your energy field and then hold on to it thinking yeah. it's your stuff. Yeah, and don't get cranky about it because, you know, it's just something that they wanted to express and they're free to express whatever they want. Mm. It's, it's how you respond to it that really really does matter. Mm. So, you know, you can say, yeah, I can see how you felt like that. I, it wasn't my intention. Mm. I didn't mean to do that. I'm really sorry that, you know, this was what you felt, but I didn't really intend to do that. Mm. So that would reduce conflicts and oh, yeah, you know, massively. heal relationships and means that you don't keep that stuff in your energy field or make them keep on to it either so how do if someone comes to you and they say listen i think i've got some generational stuff or mm. it, it came to me in birth or i've collected it through this life experience and it's holding me back so maybe they're stopping themselves from getting to the level of joy that they want or the weight that they want or success in their business mm. or you know loving relationships yeah and they come to you and they say amanda I'm ready. I'm ready to clear off this stuff. Is it mine? If it isn't mine, I want it gone. I want to be cleared. What process do you take them through? Okay, so first of all, my work is quite intuitive. So when I'm working with somebody, I can feel what's going on. So usually in the initial conversation, I know which direction this is the emotions actually coming from. I even if they are unsure themselves, you know, I'll intuit where this issue is sitting. And what we do is we use instruments, so sound healing, because it's a vibration. So I'm digging a Tibetan bell, a drum, whatever it is, it connects to the vibration of the emotion sitting in the biofield. In here, here's that vibration. Ah, that's actually what I'd rather have. I'd rather have that beautiful soft tone than this, you know, emotion. So it connects and it balances. So if you can imagine, it's like pouring water on um, a sugar cube. It melts it away. Mm, mm, I like that approach to healing, just yeah. melting it away. Yeah. Let so with sand healing, you can talk about whatever you want while the session's happening. You don't have to. It's not psychotherapy. I don't need you to talk about it. I don't need to know the story. Mm. And often when it's real trauma, I know what it is anyway. Mm. You know, I have a lot of experience. Mm. I'm intuitive. I have this library of things that I see and know and feel. Yeah. So I know what's going on with a person. You don't need to tell me. Mm. And oftentimes it's harder for people to talk about it. Let's just clear it. Mm. I like that. It's not, I like it's that. not rehash, you know, you don't have to go through all that painful talking if you mm. don't want to. Mm. And so we balance those emotions that are sitting there. So somebody will come to you, do you do a preliminary consultation, do you do a questionnaire, or are you simply intuiting and experiencing the energy field in their body? Okay. So I will talk to you about what you want, what's happening for you, what you're feeling. While that's happening, I'm getting information about what is actually going on, where we'll need to work, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. So I'll know if it's from your mum, your dad, your grandmother. And we can work with generations too. Generations in the one session within the one person or you mean with yeah. grandma, mum, everyone in the family? 
well, I have actually healed multiple generations of families, but I'm talking about if you're on the table, I can actually heal the vibration you inherited from generations ago that has shown up in different ways through different people and it will actually go back and heal those people as well. So I had a client a while ago, and I'm glad to tell this story. I got permission. Uh, he was coming to me for many things, lifelong addict, about 60 years old, and horrendous childhood, just awful, you know, really sad. And we worked on different things, and we did quite a, quite a lot of work over, over a year, but we were working on the father vibration, and we did quite a few healings on that. And he said to me, he was actually crying when he rang me. He was so appreciative. His father had started asking his mum what she would like, what she wanted. He'd never seen it through their whole marriage. Remember, this guy was 60. So we're talking about an 80-something-year-old man who's changed because his son has done some healing. Mm. So taking care of you and healing you can heal others by default. Oh, absolutely. Oh, what a gift. Yeah. What a gift to you and a gift to others. Yeah. Fantastic. So it has extraordinary um, outcomes that, you know, you're not even expecting. Mm -hmm. So talking about self-sabotage. Mm. So if... If someone is holding, let's talk about money in business because this is something you and I talked about as well. Yeah. Stepping into the camera, being seen, sharing your gifts with the world. If you're holding back mm. or if you're not charging enough what you're worth or you aren't starting a business or growing a business mm. or you get to the point where it's just about to pay off and you change direction mm. or you make a choice which is, stopping your growth, your success, yeah. that's self-sabotage. It might be around changing a habit, losing weight, um, starting a habit that's good for mm. you. How can we interrupt the pattern of self-sabotage by clearing the energy field? Okay. Well, firstly, I'd like to talk about self-sabotage. I'm not actually sure that it actually exists. Mm. About that? She wasn't touching. You didn't tell me she was going to say that. <laughs> I think self-sabotage is a made-up word. Ooh, what would yeah. you replace it with? I, I strongly believe that the reason that we don't move forward in these things is because we just have these emotions that just need to be balanced. Mm. And I think you need to stop giving yourself a hard time and saying, I'm self-sabotaging. How about you just have something to heal? Wouldn't that make it lighter? Mm. No self-punishment. Just, you know what? There's something here that needs to change. Mm. So when you feel the resistance or the pulling back from success or um, falling into that old pattern, it's almost like a gift. Right? Oh, it's the biggest gift. Right. Here you are doing it. Pay attention. Something needs healing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you heal it, boom. <laughs> You're on your way. way. Really. There's amazing things that can happen. I did a, a sound healing for a lady and she was thinking about starting this business. We did 75 minutes. She rings me two days later and says, somebody just called me from overseas, wants me to do all this work for them and I haven't even set up the business yet. <gasps> wow. Boom. <laughs> She got what she wanted and she wasn't even prepared for it. She's like, now I've got to write all this stuff. We've <laughs> never got to catch up. Yes, that's right. It's so it's, it's amazing. It's mm. what you're ready for. Mm. So you can't say this is going to happen, you're going to get this. What you're ready for. In here, what you're ready for is going to happen. Mm. So do the work within. Do the work within the energy field. And yeah. if we're six foot wide, and who knows, I'm sure at some point we'll recognise that we're all interconnected throughout mm. every human being across the planet. Yep. It's not location-based. That when you do the homework, when you do the clearing, then you're ready to receive what it is you want. That's right. Mm. So if you want to put more things in a spare bedroom, do you clear out the old stuff first or you just keep piling it in until <laughs> you can't shut the door? Clear it out. It so it sounds like it's I love the fact that you don't have to go back into the experience yeah. and rehash it. Yeah. 
don't need to re-experience a negative not at all. experience. And you might not even know what it is. So in your case, it was things that you'd inherited uh, vibrationally from your from your yeah. parents. So you might not know what it is. You don't need to. And it sounds very gentle. It is. And yeah. can it happen quickly? Because you mentioned the man who was 60 and you've been working with him for a, a year. Oh, yeah. Can we were working on different things, though. Okay. So we worked on addiction. We worked on energetic DNA. We were working on quite a few different things for him to be coming to me for that long. Yeah. So some people come for a short amount of time and they're ready to go. It all depends on what you want to work on. Mm. So we can do, you know, healings every week for six weeks and, you know, the change is extraordinary. Mm. So it really depends on what you want. You don't have to come for a year. I mainly uh, work with people for a short amount of time and then they're on their way for what they want. And maybe they'll come back to you later and say, I'm ready. What else can I clear out? Yeah, that that's right. Great. I had great success. I'm back. Yeah, I do do that. I have people who come and go mm. because they're ready for their next step. Mm. Brilliant. Yeah. And I can imagine if someone is carrying around a lot of baggage in the spare room in your yeah. energy <laughs> field. Thinking, man, life's hard and yeah. it's really hard to achieve the things I want. I feel like I'm pushing against something or I'm carrying a heavy weight. Being free of that effortlessly by the sound of it. Yeah. The sky's the limit to what you can achieve yeah. within and around and in other people's lives yeah. if it has a flow-on effect to other people other generations yeah it's fantastic so if we change our vibration we change our external so if you are out and about and there's somebody who's aggro you'll only attract them if there's something in you that needs to heal mm. so when you are clearing things these things won't be on your radar anymore like bad men Mm. So if you've been attracted you know, to a bad relationship style over and over again yeah. or a bad boss or... Yeah. Okay. If okay. you balance it, you're not vibrating that out so there's nothing to meet it. So it's like finding its vibrational match within you. So mm. if you've filled or if you've cleaned out your, your energy field mm. and replaced it with this appreciation vibration, yeah. you're going to be attracting that match for that appreciation. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah, it. It's actually quite yeah. simple. It is. So it's not have to be hard work. <laughs> no. So if something is showing up in your life, bad boss, bad relationship, clients that don't pay, um, struggle, hard mm. work, everything's kind of tough, it's because something within you needs to be healed and that's yeah. you getting your attention to say, please do some work yeah. with Amanda. That's right. Hello, we need help. Yeah, we all need <laughs> help. balances. It's all the emotions saying, we just need help. I love it. I love mm. it. And if they do that, they're not going to burn out then, are they? No, because you have so much more energy because you're not taking on the energy of other people and you're not giving out all this excess energy of worry and stress and all that sort of thing. Mm. Yeah. I love it. It just, it, it sounds, I was going to say logical. I know. <laughs> Which is a bit weird it with sound healing, but it weird. is, isn't it? It makes but sense. It does make sense. It does make yeah. sense. You're taking on other people's energies, other people's stuff. Get rid right. of it. Let go. Yeah. Is it? And it doesn't need to be so difficult. It doesn't need to be difficult at all. Mm. Thank you so much. How do you personally, what do you do for yourself on a daily basis to be resilient, avoid burnout, clear energy field? What do you do? Okay, so I appreciate every morning mm. or through the day too and every night, but I focus on it before I actually get out of bed. Mm. You know, today's going to be a great day. We go to bed, appreciate all the things that were great during the day. Mm. I meditate every day. Mm. I've meditated for about 30 years now. Wow. And just bringing yourself into your own calm centre, mm. you can focus on what it is you want to achieve, see it, bring it in. And I don't get overly emotional about people honking their horn or whatever it is that they want to say. Mm. It's like that's your experience and that's okay. And also because you've cleared your vibration, your energy field, you're not being triggered by them because it's not finding a match within you. That's exactly right. I love that. So yeah. you have to do the inner work 
Absolutely. To have the outer experience. Yeah, I love it. Thank you so much for being a guest on the show. Thank you for having me. I loved it. Thank you. Make sure that, you know, you connect with Amanda. She's pretty amazing. And it sounds like an incredibly gentle, beautiful and transformative treatment. So, yeah, check out Sound Healing with Amanda. Thank you. To learn more about how to create your own hot and healthy life, join our private Facebook group where experts share mind, body and business tips so you burn bright, not out. If you like this episode, make sure you hit the subscribe button and go and check out all our other videos. I'll see you in the next one.